all of the uh, demoralizing images that we've seen over the last several days, the looting and the desperation here on the west side of Chicago. Community leaders are gratified to see this extraordinary cleanup effort, a badly needed source of hope for battered residents. As the word went out, we had more people showed up. That tell you you have more good people in the world than bad. And all they need, we need to do is to come together and reclaim our neighborhood. Alderman Emma Mitt says her greatest concern right now is to help her 37th ward recover in the midst of a pandemic and the large-scale job losses. It all begins with a massive cleanup effort dubbed Team Up to Clean Up, a wide assortment of volunteers providing the muscle to begin the process of rebuilding the west side. I hope that the community and the business owners see us out here and see us giving and serving them. It absolutely breaks my heart, you know, with everything going on with COVID and then you add, you know, protests. I just feel like we need a change in the world. 16-year-old Kenneth Hamlin among the army of people who descended on the corner of Lake and Laramie. The goal is to give local residents a sense of hope in the wake of all the looting and destruction. The alderman using her clout to involve the Department of Streets and Sanitation, the police department, city social workers, and more. They're here with a cross-section of church leaders, community organizations, teachers, Rush University Medical Center volunteers, and more. But the alderman says it'll take a sustained effort to turn things around. But this is just the beginning of the process. And the uh, cleanup crew has already moved on to the next block. And they're going to do as much as they can. But once again, Alderman Emma Mitt saying this is just the beginning of the rebuild on the west side. In the Austin neighborhood, Julian Cruz, WGN News.